it's not unusual to have problems with crows or magpies. They can harass your cats or dogs. They can steal your pet food right out of their dishes. They can even dive bomb you right out of your own backyard. Magpies and crows are different birds in different countries. What Aussies and Americans call crows are ravens to the British. In some countries these birds are loved, in others they are hated and considered pests. My particular bird problem at the moment is, I suspect, a fairly unusual one. This new crow has for some reason decided to come every morning right on dawn up to my bedroom window and tap continually at his own reflection in my window, making a huge racket. <laughs> Why he's doing it, I don't know. I've tried a number of things to stop him. <coughs> I put netting over the window, put boards there, and he just goes somewhere else. A subsequent internet search just now has revealed mine is not an uncommon problem after all. Lots of people around the world have crows, owls and other birds doing this right on dawn. They're racket waking people up just like me. And like me, they have tried numbers of things to stop the birds without success. So I'm convinced trapping is the best solution. You can see how to make one of my existing traps in my playlist in this how-to section. And last year, I caught a nuisance crow in this trap. But my existing pest crow doesn't want to enter the trap. I've watched him from the house and he comes up and he stands here and he's worried by the mesh overhead on the trap door. And uh, he'll come up to the cage and he'll get near it and he'll jump back like he's had an electric shock. And he'll keep doing that, jumping back. He'll land on it and jump off. The ladder trap is probably without equal when you have problems with big flocks of ravens and crows like they do in the UK. They appear to have the highest catch rate with crows, so I'll build one of these large traps if I have to, but there are some smaller options I want to try first which are cheaper and simpler to make. A larson trap, which is widely used in Scotland, the UK, Canada, and the USA. The Larson trap has a top opening and a perch trigger that the bird jumps down onto. So the trap door is within the cage and there is no mesh overhead. The most common design usually features two traps side by side and sometimes an internal cage to hold a live lure bird. This sort of design is best suited to when you are trying to catch multiple birds in a flock but I'm just after one large bird, so I need a single enclosure and a spacious one. There are laws on capturing birds which vary from country to country and species to species. In Australia, you're basically free to capture and remove introduced birds, but native birds, no. Uh, so check the rules in your country and in your state and make sure you're operating within the law to avoid complaints and uh, to, um, to avoid fines. But the birds also have their own rules. By accident, I caught a nuisance magpie on my veranda trying to get this crow. And uh, to get him out of the way so I could keep catching the crow, I drove him 20 kilometres over that mountain range and let him go in, uh, late in the afternoon. The next morning, that bird was back feeding on my veranda. 20 kilometres, that's pretty impressive. Off you go.
However, I've just come across an even more open design of Larson Trap called the Larson Mate. It is the most open trap I have come across. So this will be the first type I'm going to make and try.
my final window setup didn't work. The crow just kept its distance. But the day after I removed everything, the crow was back banging on that window again. I've got to drive to a town 100 kilometres away tomorrow. Now this guy's going for a bit of a drive and hopefully after I release him, he won't come back. <laughs>